howdy all of you delicious people. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna, like, spend, like... Because I'm playing this game so much that when really looking at it, I'm just deciding now to just kind of, like, every once in a while, just kind of keep going back into this, maybe updating people or whatever. Like, it'll just probably be an extra video for the day. Um, but I just want to, like, maybe just update people or maybe even ask people who ultimately have played this longer or maybe are more experienced or ultimately, like, know a little bit more about the game. Like, what are their thoughts about certain things? Because uh, when looking at it, like, it's always good to have suggestions and it's always good to just kind of really play on the fact that, like, oh, hey, maybe someone out there uh, had used this team too or had not used this team. Uh, ultimately, I've kind of uh, really been testing kind of theories because when looking at it, I haven't seen actual, uh, like, uh, the normal people that would normally go into for uh, seemingly the technical side of this game because ultimately, uh, for me, I'm like, oh, okay, well, I have the comic book knowledge of this game, but ultimately I don't have the technical side of this game, so ultimately I defer to, to other people beyond myself uh, to ultimately give me that technical knowledge. Because uh, I don't have deadly squat worth of usual technical knowledge of this game. Um, which ultimately is fine. So ultimately it's kind of like the yin to my yang kind of thing. So, when going into here, recently I have currently finally unlocked Ultimus. Uh, ultimately that last pull was to give me like seemingly 27 shards. And I was like 11 away. I'm like, oh yeah! I'm like, this is awesome. And I finally unlocked Ultimus, which I know is a novelty character. But it's such a long ways of just finally getting that character. And reasonably just having him uh, be in the game. So, for me, honestly, because it's been such a long ways from finally actually getting this character. I don't have him very high yet because I had just unlocked him today. So, it's going to be a... Uh, it's going to be a process. It's going to be a uh, progress. Ultimately trying to get Ultimus to where he needs to be. Uh, knowing full well that ultimately there are some growing pains that are to happen here. Ultimately I've also unlocked Iceman of course from the last video that you guys had seen. Ultimately again he's not very far uh, up there either. Uh, most of the problems that I'm kind of having with basically everybody else on the planet as far as tied to this game. Is just training materials. Uh, reasonably, I'm just kind of also really just behind on, uh, like, resources lately. I've just really been, uh, basically running completely out of Blitz credit. <laughs> like, Blitz credit, man! Uh, I wasted so much Blitz credits, uh, trying to get more Ultimus Orbs to eventually get Ultimus unlocked, that when turn full circle around... Because I had, like, a ton of war credits. I had a ton of blitz credits. Like, so much, like, it was falling out of my ears. Now, like, I'm barely scraping by um, having any number of, uh, like, barely any credits whatsoever. Uh, I think reasonably because I overextended myself with just an abundance of uh, spending uh, blitz credits to otherwise get... Uh, war, um, war, def uh, war, uh, things and stuff like that. I spent, uh, a lot of, uh, war points reasonably on, uh, characters like Ghost, uh, more shards of Graviton and, and a bunch of the characters that I've yet to really otherwise master within this game. Um, but yeah, so ultimately... I know Ultimus, again, is a novelty item, so it doesn't really matter about beefing him up that much. Uh, I think a lot of people would probably tell me, oh yeah, like, four stars is more than good enough, probably. And that ultimately I shouldn't go any further than uh, quite possibly getting this character up to seven stars. But, I don't know, a lot of people could tell me different. Ultimately, a lot of people could tell me, no, he, he's a definitely a character that you need to uh, go into really going and, and going further along, but... I don't know, I think four stars might just be good enough for this character. Because uh, ultimately I'll probably use him at a lower tier team anyways. So that's ultimately my plan. There is a ton of effing characters that I'm going to have to farm right now. 
it is unbearable how many numerous characters that I am going to go in and have to farm right now. Because uh, reasonably, I have uh, do more things that I need to try to progress in. And so to me, I've kind of just been um, bleeding everywhere as far as just, or just, there's so much stuff that I need to really just kind of dip into every single freaking character. It's ridiculous. Like, to ultimately just get a, uh, just to ultimately get a group of characters up to a level just to be used for a couple of levels and then just be done with them just kind of really sucks at this point when you're going into Doom War or just Chapter 7 of anything. Um, reasonably, I'm, I have one starred the Red Skull, uh, story, so I guess I had gotten past that level, but eventually I'm going to go back at some point and three-star that level so hopefully I can start farming Red Skull because he's a beneficial character to have. I realize that. Uh, I just wanted to try to make my way uh, begrudgingly to Negasonic so that way I can ultimately farm that character. Um, so reasonably, I've like desperately been wanting to uh, farm Negasonic because ultimately I realize how... Um, much I need that character just to be able to uh, get to Dr. Octopus. So that's what I'm going with, or Doc Ock for a lot of people. Um, so reasonably, I'm kind of, uh, I'm farming certain characters because one, uh, I'm having to farm, farm basically all the Asgardians because Black Bolt. Uh, coincidentally, it's kind of hilarious that right as you are to have a creeping up of a date, of a legendary character, all of a sudden the shards that can otherwise be farmable, all of a sudden and absurdly just start stop being farmable bizarrely. It's like a coincidence, I'm sure. Uh, when looking at it, I am seven stars of Heimdall right now, and ultimately I'm forcibly having to use him in Doom War, and ultimately I'm like, God, this character is so weak. But then when looking at it, every single character that I probably would be using is like the weakest character. Like I'm having to use Heimdall, Thor, uh, and I think a uh, Ghost Rider, and and Scarlet Witch and Mantis to uh, try to get me through the Red Skull story. And I'm thinking like, you know what? I would probably much rather use like a Gamora or a Star Lord. Uh, seemingly somewhere in that team, like commingling somewhere. And then eventually I'm uh, going to have to scramble and have to figure out what the heck to do uh, for the last nodes of that one section because I'm like, oh my god, I'm using, like, I'm forcibly going to have to use, like, Iron Man, Nick Fury, uh, Coulson, and, and ultimately I'm trying to get um, Invisible Woman up uh, I'm ultimately just going to try to get uh, Cyclops, Magneto, and Invisible Woman up finally. Like, I think reasonably uh, a lot of people have mentioned how great Cyclops is. And so ultimately I've kind of been sleeping on that character for a very long time. Ultimately, uh, if I can get a really high uh, Cyclops and Phoenix together, I think that that would be great for the X-Men team. Um... I've really wanted to start uh, amping up some of my legendary characters because I've really been sleeping on them for the longest time. And so now I really want to take the time and start uh, being able to uh, slowly but surely uh, up the grades of those characters. Uh, and so ultimately, uh, and uh, I'm eventually going to have to uh, go and try and uh, get Zemo as far as possible because when looking at it, Everyone's talking about in uh, real time arena how Zemo is just basically the end all be all for that. So I guess I have to forcefully have to do something with Zemo, uh, even though heaven forbid we actually have him farmable in this game. Uh, reasonably, uh, God, there is so much. Uh, there's so many characters, uh, and also uh, Symbiote Spider Man. I've I've heard that Symbiote Spider Man is like better than a legendary at some point. So. Really, when looking at it, eventually want to. Uh, it seems like I keep getting shards through um, blit, the Blitz, uh, uh, the Blitz Orb of of Symbiote Spider Man. So I'm like, yeah, give me more, uh, give me more Symbiote Spider Man shards. I appreciate that. 
Um, but yeah, so uh, ultimately we're pretty dang close with our with my alliance that I have of ultimately getting another ten shards of bishop. Uh, so can't wait for that to happen, and then ultimately just like going to the bits the the blitz basically almost with a bishop o o already being unlocked, and ultimately just kind of getting some m mostly just. Uh, blitz credits sold me going to war so I can uh, do war a, a lot more than what I've been doing. Uh, so, again, we have a uh, really black bolt, which ultimately I'm probably not going to be able to, in time, get any further along with my Asgardians. So, ultimately, next time around, I'll try to get black bolt to a higher star count. I'm going to try to seven star uh, every single one of the Asgardians, hopefully, because if I have the resources and or time, because really there's so many other things going on in this game. It's ridiculous. There isn't a, there isn't a time for you to just ultimately just take like a, a week off to just go like, okay, well, I'm going to adjust like all of my, um, all of my characters. I'm going to adjust them. Cause no, as soon as you're like, oh, Hey, yeah, I think I can have a breather. I think I've gotten all of the characters then boom, another like three to f six characters ends up getting added in the game. And you're like, mother, f er, I'm like, dude, I thought we were done. Like, I thought we were done for like a week or two weeks or whatever uh, for us to just be able to reset through this and be able to just kind of chillax for a little bit. But no, uh, but I guess that's the good thing about this game is ultimately they keep bringing in uh, new characters and then ultimately there's finally characters that I can finally get to and be able to unlock. And so that's fun. Um, so also just kind of, uh, trying to get some characters to be a little bit more manageable, uh, but also, yeah, uh, so reasonably, uh, I guess I could do a, an alliance thing, but ultimately, yeah, so, uh, reasonably, like I said, basically all the way through with the exclusion of this one, uh, for Heroes Chapter 7. Uh, I'm sure once we get to Heroes Chapter 8, then I'm going to have to <laughs> figure out how to just beat that level uh, somehow. Uh, I think I can actually possibly beat it, but it's not the star that I want. Um, ultimately, just kind of uh, one-starring some of these levels uh, for the most point, but ultimately uh, just getting through a lot of these levels and, and being able to farm Hella and Ironheart, uh, so that's good. Uh, reasonably, yeah, Nexus, uh, just trying to eventually have it to where Thanos is eventually formable, uh, God, whatever, it's just, yeah, look at the onslaught of this, just barely, they're just scraping by, and then I get a three star, and then I one star, and then I'm just stuck here, uh, God, this is, this story is just awful. Uh, it's awful to just be like, yeah, I'm just going to barely just scrape by all these uh, just to get to the farmable parts because that's desperately what we need is just to get through these just to get to the uh, character shards so I can start farming um, all these characters because when looking at it, they're four legendary characters. So desperately, you just got to like get as far as humanly possible with certain characters to otherwise just uh, be fine with getting uh to those and whatever what have you uh because yeah i'm just a little behind on getting all my characters up to seemingly 50k and that's like 50 to 60k is kind of like right around i guess where uh do more you really need to have all your characters and i'm like dude i don't know how many characters that i've had it to where ultimately most of them are at like sitting at 20k right now and now i have to jump to like 40 more k of like five different characters yikes uh and then we're looking at it like who knows if i like like i need to kind of theory craft and figure out which character is going to be best for what uh section of level and that just sucks um plus i'm also trying to get into uh dd3 right now and ultimately i'm just like I am just one part of Captain uh, Marvel away from getting into the DD3. Ultimately, looking at it, I'm not trying to just like, oh, well, yeah, like you're having the goofiest team. Yeah, I'm having a bunch of randoms go in there. Because uh, ultimately, eventually, I'll just, I'll eventually uh, get through that at some point. 
Um, but ultimately, you still have Phoenix and, and and so Phoenix and Sinister. So ultimately, I guess that might be uh, a saving grace of sorts. But when looking at it, I don't know. We're just going to go through here and try our best. Uh, so ultimately, yeah, uh, for any of the, the future uh, character nodes of, of, of this story, let me know, freaking if there's, uh, really, if people have been three-starring with certain characters on certain nodes, let me know so I can prepare for that. Um, reason I know there's probably a lot of people that are like, well, yeah, I have, like, a 100,000 power so-and-so character team, and I just blew through all these things. And so, uh, like, a lot of people will probably tell me any number of characters that they probably use. Because they probably have, like, uh, they've probably well enhancedly known about this and whatever and have their teams up to way far up to par. I am so far beyond behind. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like, I am just trying to get every single character at roughly, like, 20k power right now. And a lot of characters are probably around, uh, there's like a, there's like a kind of a power creep. It's like, there's 10,000, there's 20,000, and 30,000, and then there's like, uh, there's 40s, and then there's like 70s and up, or whatever, around 70s or whatever. So it's, like, there's just kind of a mixture of, a mixed bag of, like, I can't get all my ducks in a row. Uh, kind of thing. So let's go into just talking about teams right now and maybe people uh, might have a better say about what is the best uh, approach to certain things because ultimately uh, there is this, some dissension in the ranks and I'll, and I'll, and I'll showcase why. Uh, so ultimately probably a lot of people I've said I've said and I've mentioned, uh, a lot of the lineup that ultimately I try to go with is ultimately tied to uh, kind of Valley Flying's roster because ultimately, like he uh, sets up his roster like for blitzing, and so do I. Um, so reasonably, not saying that I have any class of of good thing here going on in this team or whatever. But anyways, so i am i pretty much have the kind of like the straightforward things but here's where we start to differ uh so ultimately i had uh realized that i'm like okay well uh captain marvel needs to go on to another team and i'll explain eventually why and so i was like well okay what character would work well within the young avengers and i'm like well Spider-Man is eventually not going to have, at some point, his own team. So ultimately, I'm putting Spider-Man with the Young Avengers, which ultimately, it's kind of like, it's it's a rough trade to go from Captain Marvel to now Spider-Man. Yeah, but when looking at it, I'm like, well, ultimately, uh, I'll showcase why I ended up, I ended up moving the way I moved uh, within this team, or with within these teams. Um... Ultimately, putting uh, Nick Fury now with uh, Green Goblin and, and Shocker and the X-Factor people, because ultimately, I don't know where, what else to ultimately uh, do as a Spider-Man alternative to put here. Ultimately, I'm like, well, Nick Fury is a legendary, good enough for me. Um, ultimately, I still have certain um, characters as like, as like bandages or, or what would to be just said is like, well, this is going to be a temporary fix until I ultimately can get a certain legendary in here, uh, which ultimately you're going to see that with basically the Astonishing team. So I had put up a military skill team, and I think there's a lot of people that ultimately have not yet uh, gone with a military team. Because uh, when looking at it, I'm like, well, what the heck am I going to do with these characters, Belova and Red Guardian. Like, it doesn't really seem like they're actually on their own team, and I ultimately checked out, like, okay, what team are these people actually on? And so, from what I seem to have found out, that it seems that we have, like, uh, their own military tag, and ultimately it seemed that um, Belova, Red Guardian, Punisher, and the 
uh, the mercenary there. Um, ultimately, it seems that uh, they were on a team with Killmonger. I'm like, well, I'm not going to pull... I'm not going to pull Killmonger from uh, from Wakanda, the Wakanda team. So ultimately, I'm like, well, is there another character that ultimately has a military tag? I'm like, uh, War Machine? No. <laughs> like, I looked at probably everyone else, and I was like, well, the only person that has a military tag is Captain Marvel when she's on the Young Avengers team. And I'm assuming at some point that they're probably going to, hopefully, I would assess, even though Defenders would tell you otherwise, that eventually Young Avengers are going to have a fifth member, I would assess, at some point. Uh, so ultimately, I just feel like Spider-Man is just kind of a uh, kind of like a slap of a band-aid uh, for otherwise to eventually have someone eventually come up into the Young Avengers to replace Spider-Man at some point. Uh, so ultimately I just put uh, Captain Marvel within this team and I haven't really played him yet but ultimately I'm hoping that it's gonna go well. Um, so there's that. So ultimately we have it to where uh, ultimately Ebony Maw is gonna go into this team fairly soon I hope. Uh, we ultimately have Ultimus, who is now with this hodgepodge team of of Cree people, and so ultimately, uh, Black Widow had also been uh, with that military team, and so here is also where I have a new Defenders team, because uh, ultimately I would tend to at some point take Punisher out and test other characters in with Defenders. Uh, I think at some point I ended up taking Punisher out and I put like American Chavez in and that kind of worked pretty well with the Defenders. Um, I also ended up deciding to put the hand team and then just have like Nobu and like all the hand people and then put uh, Elektra in this Defenders team because... I'm gearing up for eventually when we're going to have to pull Daredevil from this team to go into the Shadowlands team, which ultimately I'm sure will probably not be as good as the Defenders team. But when looking at it, I think they're just kind of trying to peel off as many characters to separate every uh, better team with just a team that is just like, a way to just make people just kind of frustrated, for the most part, um, to ultimately have to peel off certain characters to just be like, well, what are we gonna do with Luke Cage and, 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 uh, and Iron Fist and Jessica Jones? And then, ultimately, there's never really a legitimate answer for I don't know how long. Like, the biggest problem that I have with this game is just the fact, I'm like, can we actually complete a team before we end up completely tearing it apart that is the thing that i want to say is just have five members be filled for every single team and then finally just say okay well now we're gonna separate all these characters because they're going to go into their individual teams and then, you know what, I would be completely and utterly fine with that. But we, like, never really had a complete team of Defenders. Because ultimately, all five of them didn't have a Defenders tag. And now you're ending up, like, going, okay, well, now we're going to pull Punisher. We're going to pull Defend... We're going to pull Daredevil and Elektra, um, eventually. And then we're just going to leave, uh, probably Jessica Jones to be, I hope, an A-Force team. Uh, Luke Cage, Mighty Avengers, I hope, or reasonably, uh, Heroes, uh, for higher hodgepodge team, I would assess. It's the only logical thing. I don't think that, uh, they're gonna do a, uh, Thunderbolts team with, uh, Luke Cage, Man-Thing, and Juggernaut, because ultimately, why would you pull off Juggernaut from the Brotherhood team? Unless they're ultimately going to put multiple man into the Brotherhood team or some other, uh, some other uh, character that would otherwise be justified to be a part of that Brotherhood team that would make it to where uh, losing Juggernaut would not be a big loss. 
So reasonably other than that, I think everything is just kind of fine and set up. This is kind of just a, a makeshift team because ultimately I'm getting ready for Bishop. Uh, Jubilee is going to take a while. I don't, it's going to take a while to get that Ant-Man team going. But yeah, I didn't want to pull Killmonger. I just have a bizarreish, or I just have whatever's left of the hand team just shoved over here. Uh, Fantastic Four, I guess, is eventually going to get Silver Surfer through this, uh, through this game. Um, maybe quite possibly to have Silver Surfer be the fifth member of Fantastic Four and then just have Namor just be, uh, just to be splashing away into the waters to eventually find his team. Unless there is no Silver Surfer Fantastic Four tag, which ultimately would be a stupid thing to not have. Uh, hence why Doom doesn't have a tag. Uh, but again, so many characters that don't have a team, don't have a place, and they're just being tossed everywhere. And, like, that is my biggest problem, is just the fact that we... Um, we don't have team synergy, or when looking at it, I think, uh, like, characters should be big enough to build an entire team around them. Like, I think Doom would probably quite possibly benefit from quite possibly having his own team. I think reasonably, uh, Silver Surfer is kind of the same thing. Have him, uh have them be with the Heralds of Galactus kind of thing. Uh, eventually, or have them also be in uh, any number of teams that I had mentioned before. Like, uh, there had been a an entire team, which ultimately I had set up for Silver Surfer, which I think was the Annihilators, or the, uh, like, a team that I think was put in with Nova uh, before I'd come up with a consensus of, like, well, do the champions or whatever. Because uh, I think a lot of people have been calling for the chance... I don't know how many videos that I've watched people talking about Marvel Strike Force and they brought up the champions, but I guess uh, that team isn't, I guess, popular enough, I guess, even though people know about them. Um, so, I don't know. When really looking at this, uh, I guess I can go into the doing some raids and stuff like that uh, so I can have some gameplay in here. I apologize for... Like, it's just a lot of theory crafting right now, and I think there's a lot of times where ultimately people could tell me that, like, oh, yeah, like, you should you should go this route with it, with your roster. I think it'd be, you'd be better off, and uh, this and that, and that'd be perfectly fine. Um, yeah, ultimately I need to get into also doing some raids today, because that's the, that's the whole thing. Uh, trying to participate as much as humanly possible to... Uh, with this new alliance that I'm tied to, uh, where it's just like every day is just like, okay, like, we gotta do this today now. Oh, hey, war is coming. Oh, hey, uh, raid is coming. Oh, hey, this is going on. And so on and so forth. There's like a ton of just uh, moving parts all going on at the same time. And so it's me, it's just kind of juggling all these, uh, all these parts. So... Uh, overall, just, like, I'm, like, I, I'm kind of am to the point of really not wanting to suggest new characters, because good god, there's so many, like, I feel like there's so many characters that are ultimately we're hearing are coming, and, like, we've heard for a very long time have come in coming, uh, Spider-Gwens and all kinds of things in the end, where I'm just like, how about we just really just solely focus on um i really just completing teams right now um so we don't have to really go into actually like putting an entire team together because that takes so much work uh i think really just being able to uh connect uh connect teams together would just soften the blow right now of a lot of people where they would just be like oh yeah well okay well i can just breathe now it, considering like there's some people that might not want to put certain teams together uh so there might be some people that might not want to uh put together a uh, an X Factor team, so ultimately they just might be like, well, I'll get to that eventually, but I'm not going to do that right now. 
Um, there's some people that might um, not want to put together a, a Mighty Avengers team or a Heroes for Hire team or a A-Force team, so it's me. Because uh, they might just be going like, yeah, I don't think that this... Uh, I don't think that these characters are good enough um, to be mixed into a team. Uh, but I don't know. When, when looking at it, just... I don't know. We have it to where like, She-Hulk is really just... Uh, like at first everyone was kind of excited about her, but then they realized like how, uh, like really just not as good as what they, what people thought that she was. Um, reasonably when looking at it, I'm like, man, like these Hulk characters are just really just, they're not really as good as what they used to be <laughs> or what they were to be. Cause I was like, man, I really like She-Hulk. And when looking at it, it's like, yeah, She-Hulk is not a good character. Uh, I like original She-Hulk. I don't like modern day She-Hulk because they kind of really, um, I think they kind of like, uh, I, I want to say the term like cleaned her up. Uh, like at first she was very like sensual and all that jazz and, but now ultimately she is not that. She's just kind of like, uh, she's just, she just kind of got boring to be brutally honest. Um. But anyways, really, I think they are also, they're also missing the boat with these teams. Uh, I, like, every single day, like, I'm thinking of new uh, characters that would have been more exciting um, to honestly been added to this game. Like, I always am thinking of, like, like, man, what if Kid Omega was in here right now instead of xyz x-men character like i'm thinking of like what if havoc was in this game right now what if uh what if shadow king was in this game right now what if legion was in this game everybody would lose their minds about legion like oh my god legion and then ultimately they will just be utterly really just disappointed probably at the end of the day they'll probably get legion and then they'll probably just like yeah <laughs> Not we were hoping that this character would end up being. Um, like, I, I kind of harper back onto uh, also, like, why not have, like, Omega Red in here? Uh, reasonably, when looking at it, I think Omega Red is eventually going to be uh, in some part of the MCU. And I think, reasonably, they need to do something with these uh with these movies and our shows that have been coming out uh because that's all that's that's all that's coming that's all that's going and uh to just kind of ignore a lot of stuff is just goofy but meh it is what it is uh but reasonably i i kind of get the consensus that like bizarrely like, Marvel Strike Force, to me, for the most point, just kind of feels, like, really behind the eight ball right now. It kind of feels like they, uh, there's so many, like, there's so many things going on in the kitchen, like, everybody just can't keep up. And there's a ton of it, of mistakes that are under, that are ending up happening, that everyone is catching every little tiny mistake that they're doing right now, and, like, well like they're they're coming on with with egg in their face consistently and ultimately i just think uh when really looking at it uh what ended up kind of saving the saving marvel strike force every single time that there seemingly was a boycott of sorts or there was kind of some dissension in the ranks ultimately people were just like well i don't like this game i don't like what's going on then ultimately marvel strike force would be releasing uh this really great character that everybody wanted to get and then everybody's like well okay i think i'm i think i'm happy now with this game i think i'm fine like i think everything's going to work out for this game i was all um i was all boo but now i'm huzzah right now and so like, ultimately, having a character like uh, Symbiote Spider-Man ultimately, like, turned people around to be more 
optimistic about this game. And so when looking at it, like that is why I'm harping or harping on um on characters right now so much because when looking at it, I think a really good character or a really fun character could turn things around for the better uh because Really, we had, like, Cyclops come out at that time. We had uh, Symbiote Spider-Man come out, and I think, like, people were won over by those characters eventually. Uh, but I think a lot of people... I apologize for that. Um, a lot of people were eventually just kind of won over by the fact that they were eventually putting out new characters during that time. Everything, I think, does really crux onto new characters, whether people want to... Um, say it or not uh because when looking at it it's like uh god what was the other thing that i was thinking about like i think that they honestly like they need to have fun they need to have fun with characters they need to have fun with story like i was jokingly i even went on marvel strike forces uh like video and i was making like uh, car comic book jokes uh, like, basically mentioning how, like, like, like who the characters that I think I would have wanted instead of Astonishing X-Men, even though X-Men, or Axemen, have been uh, doing really well in a lot of people's eyes. It's just the fact that uh, I think, really, there's been too many problems and a lot of just heartache of a lot of cats or a lot of guys or a lot of people, a lot of women, uh, through this game. And... I think reasonably it's just like, well, you're having a lot of people probably rage quit because they're sick of all the problems that they're having. Uh, but I think also the real problem is just reasonably like you had it to her. Yeah, the Ant-Man team. Eh, great, right? Uh, like, I honestly think that you should kind of go the opposite of just getting like uh, kind of the ugly ducklings of, of Marvel just out of the way. Like, reasonably, I think now is about a time more so than any. Um, like, if you're just going to go down in flames to ultimately just bring out kind of teams that are just kind of like, meh. Like, why not just have fun with it then? Why not just have, like, Darkhawk on some team? Just throw them out there. Just have, like, the Legion of Losers just, like, come out there and just, like, fight it out. Why not? When looking at it, it's like, have fun with the game. And I think ultimately that will win people over. Is like, I think that's why everybody wanted Squirrel Girl. I think that's why everybody just wanted to, like, have a goofy character that made no sense for it being here. And I think that that'll probably, like, it'll win over some people. It'll, it'll have people have a good laugh. And I think that's what we honestly need right now is just to, like, have... Ugh, I don't want to spend Power Force. I want to save my Power Force because Moon Knight. Moon Knight! But I'm going to keep I'm going to keep rating, though. Uh, that's for sure. So ultimately, I can, I can get uh, percentages up. Because uh, ultimately, we can get some sweet rewards. Sweet, delicious rewards. Ooh, I got to get me some of this. Ha! Ah. Yeah, no, I have no, uh, I no need that. I no need that, I know. Uh, but anyways, uh, God, there's probably a lot of resources that I'm going to need at some point. Probably these, probably those. Uh, I'm probably just uh, looking at anything that has a, a lesser count on it and just go ultimately going like, yeah, some of them. Yeah, I, I actually need that because ultimately I'm going to have to tier... 14 Black Bolt eventually, so I'm going to need one of those. Huzzah for that. Um, and I'm going to need these. I'm just going to need everything in this gosh darn store, gosh darn it. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, I guess I'll... I'll <laughs> I'm playing the game! I shouldn't be playing the game. Nobody does that. I don't know. I'll, I'll just go through the catalyst in this one. I don't know exactly... I probably needed other things for other characters, but the real thing that I'm trying to come along here is just ultimately, I hope that we have, uh, 
we have characters that people can be happy with and ultimately that will make them happier to play this game i think so reasonably like bring out the slapsticks bring up bring out this absurd characters because that will just ultimately just be like who the f is this but then eventually once they find out who it is they'll be like ah, oh, oh, oh. so i don't know like uh when looking at it i immediately would say like arcade because i think like do pinballs and Weird attacks like that, it would be kind of a goofy thing to approach in this game. Um, I think really have some fun with it because, good God, uh, people have been just furious about this game. Uh, and I'm all, I'm all okay with that. When looking at it, uh, I could justify that ultimately a lot of people have just, like, go and... Uh, read an actual relevant Marvel Strike Force character or, or, or YouTuber and you'll just see a huge thing of people all of a sudden making all kinds of Marvel jokes and it's a freaking hilarious time that we live in that everybody's making Marvel jokes right now. Um, so ultimately, yeah, uh, a lot of people are just like, well, hey, nobody's talking about this character. And when looking at it, nobody's really talking about Silver Surfer really all that much either, but... When looking at it, he was in Silver Surfer Black, uh, which ultimately is tied to the Null story, uh, which ultimately was tied to, like, the Black Panther story that I guess is really popular going on right now. So, yeah, uh, I guess Silver Surfer is only relevant because it's Silver Surfer, I guess. So I'm going to get out of here. Uh, hopefully the things start turning around for me in this game uh, and turning around for everyone else, too. So I'm going to get out of here. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.